Boom. If I come here, I try again. You start just fighting the loose. Okay? There it is. It starts going. Yeah, stay with that energy. Yeah, you got here, we'll be doing all these te techniques that'll take it into stuff. You start just fighting the loose. Okay? There it is. It starts going. Good. Stay with that energy. Good. Now, what happens when I grab here? What he does by instinct yeah. is go into that Fuchs house underline there. Okay? So drop that elbow away. Boom. And he picks up here. So now he's got this energy. Okay. Same principles. Fingers out so I can't grab it. So he's just riding just essentially with this part of his palm at first. Okay. Okay? Elbows down. So it was like, thanks, it looks good. So we got fingers face out. Okay. Fingers face out. But you stay on top. Wow. Fingers face out. Okay? Right? Okay. Good. Okay. Now on this side today, we're going to bring it up. I go around. He can come through. Elbow drops. Boom. He's back in. Yeah. So it's not a big one. And he, right here, where is he? He's got to flip it over. Yeah. So this one here. Boom. Elbow in. Flip it over. That's it. That's it. Okay. Elbow in. Side. Good. Very nice. Okay. Right? I come out here, he's going to roll the bonsai over, back in, okay, in, now remember that bonsai is going to swim forward so the elbow gets on, that's nice right there, okay, I come in, okay, so if I'm here, the second, the second you do that, boom, right in front of your center line, cover your face with your hand, tilt, drop that shoulder, get it in, so we're going here, he's riding that energy, stay riding it, good, elbow's in, Okay, keep your center line covered, good. All right, as I'm in, going around, I trap, you want to immediately get that elbow in. Right. Okay, so right there, elbow cut across, good. Get in front. Now he's gonna pick up from there, palm on, he's gonna ride that energy. Staying on, okay. Keep those elbows in, that's the hardest thing. If you have problems, it's hold hard. your elbow, yeah. okay. And I'm gonna be, there's gonna be all kinds of different angles and types of ways and we try to cut. Okay, we're not worried about yet for me trying to cut here yet. That'll be the next class, okay? So we're in here, I'm coming in, we're over, good. I'm coming in, we're over here. If I come short cut right here, so see how he came over here, and he takes his good to the elbow, and then brings it back down. But if I go on the flat line here, he's gonna use this bonsai, flat level bonsai. So he's gonna roll this, Boom, and then come back down. Come back. Ah, okay, so this is, you're writing this, this energy. Yeah. So this one might be difficult here. I'm cutting across this line. You're gonna use this part of your forearm to bat it. Boom, that's it, then back on. That's it. Okay. So if you have trouble with that one, okay, we can, we'll can we be working on that more. That low line bonds up. It's a quick flip, like quick shit, flip, yeah. and flip back under. Okay. So bonds out. Tonsa or Bonzo Fuxa. Okay? So let's start putting this a little bit together. So as he's in, he's riding the energy, keeping on top of the energy. Watch that you don't push it up where I can disengage. Good. If I move, he sticks with me. He doesn't want to hit me. If I move, he stays now. And we'll be getting into footwork and stuff as we do this, but you're just trying to stay on that energy. Okay, palm on, palm down, palm down. Good, Fuchs out. Good. Good. Moving. Here. Start working it loose. Here. Okay. If I grab. Here. Good. Ride that energy. Stay, keep that palm. If I grab here, center line, Fuchs out. On here. Good. Boom. Back it. Ride that energy. Okay. Now, a really good drill, and this will help you because this is actually a sensitivity drill. Okay. Yeah. This is not a technique that we're doing. It's a strength. principle. Yeah. It's a principle. Yeah. So you guys can adapt this, and the idea of Jing Shan is to give you principles that you're gonna be able to adapt to yourself, your own style, and so on, okay? So, this first one here, all right? When he's in, start off, just ride that energy. Yeah. Now what I want you to do, and if you watch this, remember, don't get underneath. So keep that palm as though you could stop me if I'm coming in here, okay? If I start to go low, that elbow needs to be low so that you can catch that energy, okay? So we're staying on the high line right now, okay? So we've got this. Now, a good drill is he now closes his eyes, all right? Let's keep your eyes up, close. 
Keep up with the hand, rod that energy. Oh, yeah. Boom. Feel it, don't yeah. fight it. When it comes here, bonds out over. Oh, bonds out. Bonds out. This way. Okay. So here, do that one. Pull over the ground. Good. If I come here, lock in. If I grab, center line. Good. Keep your eyes closed. On top, don't scoop under. Always, when you go, so if you don't scoop under, because as soon as he scoops under, yeah. I've got that cut. So when he's here, he's going to come in, and he's going to ride that palm. Oh, fingers up. Keep the connection. Elbows down, fingers up. This is a, there's a lot to this, guys. Yeah. Okay? Also, turn your center so that you're in. Okay. So the further he reaches off of his body, the more I can now come in. Okay. So you want to turn your center so that el that elbow stays in front of you. So if I start cutting, okay, if I start putting that weight in, which we're going to do later, he's still safe. Okay. So, so don't practice slop. Go back, start it over whenever you need to. Okay. Get your elbows, guys. Your elbows want to flare out. It's a natural tendency you have. It's it's really hard and it's unawkward. But if you notice the connections here, the defensive wise, it's a complete difference. Here I'm leaving myself exposed to all kinds of attacks. Here I'm very stable, and it's a lot less energy for me to redirect him. Okay. And it's literally just I'm literally just shooting, and the eyes closing honestly help the best. Oh. So as we're gonna do that again. So the eyes are closed, right? Keep those elbows. So if I push at any time, mm -hmm. see right here. This is a problem because he's left it because he wants to stay. Yes, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. He wants to cap it. Well, so if I go, good. Stay on top. So don't scoop underneath. Good. Okay. Stay on top. Good. Good. Okay. The palm oh. into the center. Good. Stay there. Don't grab, grab so much because okay. if you start grabbing and anchoring, okay. I'm gonna get you. So palm. So that if I come here, so, he was, right, so if he's here and he's coming in and I'm in here, okay, okay, you're not really grabbing. I'm not, I'm not really grabbing. Okay. So as he comes across the other side, come, come over this side, come in. Okay. Right? This is here. As he cuts across here, see I'm just riding that energy. Yeah. I keep the elbow as close to my center and here. And other time I'm facing the floor. So if you start to cut, even here, if I don't have it, I still have position. Even if you cut in here, okay, or even if he sweeps his elbow undercut, okay. What you can notice here too is how low Greg is actually bending his knees as well to actually absorb the cut. See this? You have to yes, keep. you have to keep low. And my general rule, and I could switch with these as I go, okay. You don't have. You can go here. Elbows are in. Now, if I get too much like this, uh -huh. okay, which is good because there's my disarm later, yeah, but, he can, but well. he can feel that, yeah. okay. And as soon as he does that. If I'm focusing my attention on here only, then this strike can come in, all kinds of other techniques can come in, okay? Right. So if he's now here, later on what we'll do is if he's trying to cut my wrist here, we have hewn sounds, okay? So if he's trying to cut, okay, we'll stay under. We'll learn how to, as he comes under, roll your wrist. So if he's trying to cut up this way, okay, okay you learn to roll the wrist. If he's cutting through, hewn sound, okay? We'll add those in as we go. But for right now, so you've got the low line. I'm riding here, he's trying to cut in, maybe he's trying to stab in, okay? Anything on that line that he wants to throw. If he comes in and he digs in straight, okay? I'm still in. Yeah. If he then comes up towards my face, he's stabbing towards my face, okay? I'm riding the energy here. Still the other way. If he puts energy in, okay, yeah, if he runs in, let's go. Okay? Do you see that there's barely any energy? Yeah. If you push in towards me, yeah. like try to put straight in, I match them. Okay. Okay? But it's not a pushing yeah. back, it's it's staying matched with it. It's not a locking either. Right. 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 I, was, I was kind of locking. And I'm not trying to hold yeah. right there. Trying to lock you. Okay. Right? So it's this. Yes. Okay? So if he comes, boom, there's a taunt up. He goes around to cut, I bring it back down and I'm back in. Oh, and I'm cool. sticking to this. If he then comes up, Okay, he's cutting across this one. There's a good thing to bring it back down. Elbow back in. Okay, he's coming back through. If he goes up to this line, bond tower goes over, elbow back in control. He grabs this hand, he cuts, this automatically picks up. Now, if I have to open, I may have to go here. Okay, so if he's cutting in, I can use his own arm and then cross over. Okay, and later on, that will lead up to us bridging. So when he's coming in to cut here, we'll be doing 
all these types of techniques that I'll take it in the stuff. Okay? So work on those. Let me give you a little review. Okay? Elbows in. You're going to ride the energy. That doesn't mean ride out here and ride across here. This stays in, face that energy. Okay? When they're here, it's more of a palm jutsu, yeah. right? like a palm press. Not so enough. this is this is here. If I need to, I can sort of ride them down here, or I can get absorbed if he drops in. Okay? So first level, around your waistline. You're riding the energy flat. Okay? Second one, they come up for your face, you block it. Okay? Pox out, elbow's still in. Okay? They're coming out for the face. And then we've got the good thing, which brings it back down around. Okay? Back into our level here. We went up palm to the tonsil as well. Sorry. So we have that palm tonsil roll. Mm -hmm. That's just here. Yeah, Rolling that wrist on the, on the second line. Okay? Very nice. When I came up for the head, we had the bond sour roll, which the elbow then collapsed and brought back down. Again, if they came up for the side of the neck, we had the good thing, back down. And the same sort of thing, if they cross grab me here, I'm still riding that energy on the cross grab. And uh, yeah, so that's good, guys. Send us questions. I know this gets a little tricky. And as we get going, we get these courses, the people that sign up with these courses, We'll have some live days that you can come on and uh, join us and ask all the questions. We'll work with you. So find a good partner that you can work with, uh, somebody that you can work with regularly, or find a couple of cool partners that you can work with. And uh, just be careful that you have somebody that's going to work with you and not against you. All right, guys. So we'll see you in the next workout. Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, guys.